Follow me, Princess Nadia. I will show you around the ship. Your father would have done this himself, had he lived. How do you like your attire? We took very careful measurements and made it especially for you. Do you like it? Of course not! It shames me. I'm sorry. I myself like it very much. Do you know what this is? It looks like a human. Preserved. Yes. This is the first human being assembled by the ancient Atlanteans. His name is Adam. Adam? The Old Testament says that God created him in his own image. It really is a human? It's an experiment. It seems that this was the smallest size they could make at first. They continued to refine their model until they reached the present day size. So then, humans were always meant to... Yes. They were created to be the servants of the people from Atlantis. It all happened almost two and a half million years ago. When the Atlanteans first came to Earth, they were too few in number to properly advance their civilization. So they tried to make loyal servants for themselves. They started with the whales, which seemed fairly intelligent. That was a failure. Some of their descendants survive to this day. They were just like Erion. You know of him, do you? Next, they turned to the primates. They allowed them a rather high intellectual level, so that their motor skills could be used more effectively. However... This time, they made the human beings to look exactly like their Atlantean creators. But Charles Darwin's series maintains that men evolved naturally from the lower apes. Jean, are you familiar with the term missing link? Missing link? Yes. It is said that humans evolved from apes. But that leads to some important questions. Why does man have so little hair on his body? Why is he able to use complicated tools? How did he learn to speak? Science still doesn't know how to answer these questions. The link that connects human beings to the apes. This link has of yet never been discovered. If we take into account that the Atlanteans forged that link themselves... Precisely. Then it makes perfect sense. But how could you make a monkey into a man? Quite simply. Through genes. Genes? Yes. It is like a natural blueprint for the creation of man. It was the ancient Atlanteans who drew this blueprint. What's this? Ah, yes. <laughs> These are incomplete specimens, failed experiments. This is truly mankind's museum of his storied past. It's horrible. Do you think so? You really shouldn't let it upset you so. We Atlanteans are their creators and their masters. You must realize this and accept it, Princess Nadia. I will never accept it. <laughs> well, that won't do. What's wrong, Princess Nadia? Don't you have anything to say? I have nothing to say to you. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I would like to speak with you so that we may learn from each other. I would rather give up my life right here and now than to ever help you two. Nadia, you must not say such sad and hurtful things. <gasps> you will live with me from now on. Please don't make it difficult. Don't command me! I hate you! You don't like me at all? It seems that you like humans more than us, even though we are true Atlanteans like yourself. I've spent my whole life with humans. You just fear what you don't understand. <laughs> you say the same things Nemo did. 
You have been separated from your father a long time, but you are his daughter nonetheless. Why don't you try to live among them? Nadia, you must look at your beloved humans more closely. You see, they shamefully discriminate against their own kind, simply to maintain their temporal power and elusive idea of happiness. If they can't accept themselves, they'll never accept an alien like you. I don't believe that. The human race will never improve, Nadia. Servitude was all they were ever equipped for. They need a strong and unyielding master like us. I won't accept that! That is the sad reality. I am not interested in living among animals. That's why you can carelessly kill them as you do. That's why you've become such a heartless monster! Why you stole my blue water?! That is incorrect. His Majesty the Emperor is the true successor to the Blue Water. Yes. I have finally inherited my birthright, the Blue Water, from my father. Huh? A brother? That's right. I let you escape. I let you get away 13 years ago. For some reason, I couldn't kill my own sister. It must be fate that has brought us together again after so long. That's a very sad fate, since all I really want to do is destroy you. That is a fruitless wish. Oh, it will come true. You should abandon that desire. Remember that I spared your life once. I don't want to kill you now. Your Majesty. We have almost reached Paris. You should prepare. Yes, of course. Listen to me carefully. You must completely understand your situation. So crab you! 